beverage that's going to take it. Oh, can you smell that? You know, that sweet aroma when somebody makes popcorn in the office, and then, of course, everybody's craving popcorn. Well, um, some of the neighbors in San Francisco didn't quite like smelling bacon, or, you know, it's probably somebody tried to get the restaurant shut down because, oh, it smelled so good. My guess is the person that, especially, were fighting for people that really loved bacon. Oh, they should have kept it open. They couldn't resist. Anyway, is that like the most ridiculous thing? The food smelled so good, so they're going to shut down a restaurant? Well, guess what? It's reopening, and I'm really happy. Now they're on the map. I want to go to that restaurant. Mm, sounds really good. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. About bacon. <laughs> yeah, I'll go bacon this time. Okay. Uh, okay. We're, okay. Here's, here's the ridiculous. My... My family was in, the, my mother was in the restaurant business for 60 years, folks. And uh, the, this was the most, un can you imagine if my mother would have had to shut down one of the restaurants that she was in charge of, or the, or the, she was secretary treasurer of a major corporation, because the food smelled so good. And it, it, uh, it shouldn't have been allowed because it, it was enticing people to eat something that was bad for them. That's, that's uh, you know, this is how the, the nanny state is. You can go to court and get a business shut down because the product they're selling, it, just the smell alone entices you to buy it. Mm-hmm. And Obama, oh, well, and actually we'll talk about uh, the Zimmerman verdict on Trayvon Martin. I mean, ever since that happened, they've been having problems here in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, I heard last the night protest. I was talking, in Hollywood it got really bad that people couldn't go out of their houses. Was it they said the police department had to fire bean bags into the crowd to break them up because... Um, well, my father was a police officer for a, uh, for a long time, reserve officer in the Los Angeles Police Department. He was actually a glorified rental cop because he did. He, but he did have to go out and do his things on the street for traffic and all that. But he said that, he said, it always, remind, always amazed to about the Afro communities was, was they all burn their community down in protest. They will destroy their community I, in I protest. I don't understand that because there are still some areas that were not rebuilt after the Rodney King case. Because I, I had, uh, you know, because I actually, also because of the business I'm in, I used, I actually got to sit down sometime to eat with people in the so-called Red Pack, and Sammy Davis Jr. and I, we were the, we were the oddball, like Sammy Davis Jr. said, oh, you're an American Indian and, uh, and, a, and a Jew, said, I'm black Jew and I have a white wife, she said, boy, when they get this table, they get us all. <laughs> yeah. But he, 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 he told me once when we were sitting there eating, and he said, he said, I can't understand how dumb these people are. He says, you go to Brentwood and destroy their houses. Don't destroy your own house. I, I know. He, he says, just... you're going to go to jail for the same crime. Go to jail for doing something to somebody else's property. <laughs> and he said, uh, and then, and then uh, I also met Red Fox. He said, for Christ's sake, they burned down the Cadillac dealership. He said, we're <laughs> the only people that are buying those cars. <laughs> it's like... I don't understand. I still don't understand. No, they, the no, nobody understands. No one that I knew was, was an Afro American could understand the logic of destroying your own neighborhood to protest because nobody comes back and rebuilds. What still is a disaster? Here? Yeah. Oh my gosh! And it's all over for the Republicans. Yeah, because they said that um, the Democratic Party is about to do the nuclear reactor, nu nuclear option, and forbid the Republicans from filibustering things. It is. A, it is. It is absolutely you know, written in stone, that you have an opportunity to stop the, the, uh, the a person from being confirmed in the Senate of the United States. It is called advise and consent. The Senate has the right. Any senator has the right to stop any nomination. They are about to take that right away from the Republican Party. Uh, but don't worry, it's only going to be as long as the Republicans, are, as long as the Democrats are in charge, but since the Republicans will no longer have any anything any say in anything in the Senate, it means the Democrats are basically going to turn it into a one-house government, and will simply pass. One guy said they'll pass the uh, the money bills through the Senate now and ignore the House because the House will never give them money for anything. Mm -hmm. But he also said when that happens, it brings an end totally to the Democratic Party in this nation because as as they say, will everyone one of the people this morning said. Uh, the Republic, everything the Republicans have said about this president and the Democratic Party are about to come completely true this week. Everything, mm. and they're going to get their, they're going to get slaughtered in the next election. I mean, it's going to be a bloodbath on their party. 
And Obama spent as much money last week as it took to keep 35,000 government workers on the job for two weeks. I know. Uh, that, that's right. They're going on an 11-day forced vacation. He could have kept 35,000 workers working by not taking his vacation, which he extended beyond the time. So he also could keep, they said he could keep the White House open, the White House tours open for the next decade on what he spent on him and his wife's vacation. Mm -hmm. So they, they, um, they're really getting pissed at this guy in the White House. There's more and more. He's losing union votes. He's using everybody's votes more and more with every day. And Obama spent as much, oh, Clash looms on Obama nominees as he plans to push votes. Yeah, they're going to just pass all of these people, okay? If, if you think that if you're a small business, you can look forward to 10 to $15 an hour in, pay, uh, in uh, being paid your employees. You can look forward to the Environmental Protection Agency shutting down every, every um, operation in this country that they said promotes carbon dioxide. You can look forward to no new, no new drilling being done anywhere for mining or any purposes. You can look for coal burning plants to be shut down, nuclear plants to be shut down. You can look for the interest rates to go up on everything you're doing. This is what the Republicans are stalling right now to keep these people. Obama can have these nominations filled anytime he wants as long as he's not going to put in somebody that basically uh, believes in uh, that Mao Zedong is a hero to the, to the people of the world. Some of them actually think that he, he is their hero. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, Republicans in House resist overhaul for immigration. It's not going to happen, but it won't make any difference because as soon as Obama, as soon as the Senate does the nuclear option, the immigration bill becomes the law of the land because they will simply bypass the House of Representatives and do it by uh, what they've got, some sort of Mickey Mouse. To, remember how they got the health bill through? Without any Republican or Democratic, without any Republican support, they're going to, re they're going to do reconciliation, a, a version of that, which means the Senate will pass everything and uh, it will be sent directly to the President for signing without the House having any involvement in it. And police in Florida warn against riots in wake of a George Zimmerman verdict. Well, they're getting them, folks. Here's a good one also. They said this morning announced that some of the people that were fired because they refused to bring this guy to trial are now suing the federal government. Uh, they said the President of the United States is going to have so much. Remember Bill Clinton? All the litigation he had to go through after oh, he got out of office. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, so they're going, because some of these things, the President did not speak as President of the United States. He spoke as a father when he spoke off the record, as a, when he got off his teleprompter, spoke as himself. He then became liable for, uh, for litigation against him. And Rick Perry won't seek re-election as Texas governor. Yeah, well they said though that, that, that Perry handed, the, even though the Republicans control the House, the Republicans control the Senate, they, they expect to retain the governorship, the Democrats are now taking control of Texas because of the actions of the Republicans. It's, the Republicans control the House, they control the Senate, they control the governorship, and they're going to continue to do such, but it now belongs the Senate. The state is now going to be ran by the Democratic Party, which I cannot understand the logic of that one. And Janet Napolitano steps down at DHS, and who will replace her? Somebody to the left of her. Somebody that basically, the problem was, she knew, okay, she didn't want to answer questions about Benghazi and these other things. Everybody involved with the Benghazi thing, well, she said it herself, I think, yesterday on the, the, the things, well, uh, my resignation means that there'll never be a uh, there'll never be a satisfactory answer now for the Republicans. And at least six dead in Paris train crash. Yeah, uh, they said somebody. I know they think they know who did it, and they think yeah, they think it was an act of sabotage by uh, uh -huh. by they they can't they won't tell you who, but people can make a wild guess because they're having problems with. Uh, American Indian descendants of Sand Creek massacre seek reparations. That's never going to happen because India's getting no reparations, folks. Why not? Yeah, because we're at the, the, my family's at the bottom of the food chain. You, you basically give. Okay, if they were illegally here and they were massacred, you could get reparations. But unfortunately, they actually own the country. So. And since they own it, the, well, yeah. I know, so. And yeah. what? And first of all, the Sand Creek thing was in response to something the Indians had done before Sand Creek. And the families there, well, we want reparations from the people of Sand Creek. So that's why, in order to keep it from being a vicious cycle, they'll you know, go any further than that. 
Animal Monty Bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, today, just because you were found innocent doesn't mean that's the end of the, tr the trials for you. 